Hey everyone, this is the Ambient Beard, and I know it's been a very long time uh, since I posted, but there's been a lot of stuff that's been happening, so uh, if the video seems too long and you don't want to watch the whole thing, uh, short bit is I got a new job, I was sick, I'm still working on a game, I'm planning on going to a conference this weekend to show off some stuff, and uh, the game will hopefully release in a month or two. And but if you want to listen to the rest of it and be more detailed, uh, please stay tuned. All right, so the short of it is I am still alive. Uh, I got very sick during the month of January and then again at the month of February with two different things. I also started a new job. I am working as a like board game curator and stuff for Noble Knight Games, great little place. Um, but uh, that has moved to a full time shift, uh, so 40 hours, and um, that's taken a little bit to get used to. And I also just changed to second shift uh, this week, so um, it's been tiring and stressful and all that stuff, so it's uh, taking me some time to get used to. And uh, so I have not touched the game since. Um, uh, Mighty Con <laughs> in earlier December last year. So um, that and so that's pretty much what it was. I went to Mighty Con. I don't know if I posted too much about that. I don't remember, but um, I know it was kind of a came out of nowhere sort of conference. And so um, and they just came up with the table. So I went. It was awesome. It had a good time. Um, a lot of great feedback from a slightly different crowd because uh, it's not a video game conference, but uh, they were like, yeah, let's come show your stuff. So um, they had a good time. So yeah, now that the sicknesses are gone, I'm used to the job. I'm getting used to the sleep schedule and one of those things. Um, I'm starting to finally get back into game design. Unfortunately, being a solo dev, as soon as you go down, it all goes down. So um, I do apologize for that, but I am excited to get back going on it all. Um, to start it off, I'm going to be going to the Midwest Gaming Classic that's happening in Milwaukee at the Baird Center. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, B-A-I-R-D. Uh, this weekend, actually. Um, it's doing April 5th, 6th, and 7th. I'll be there on the 6th and the 7th. Uh, work it makes it so the 5th doesn't uh, work out so well. But um, it's actually relatively inexpensive for the passes. I think it's $50 for the day on uh, Saturday, and I think it's family day on the Sunday, and that's $25, I think, per person. Not entirely sure. Please go to the website. Um, I know it's going to be a good time. Uh, I'm excited for it. And yeah, so if you want to come play the game, I'll be in Milwaukee this weekend. All right, so as game dev goes, I still have... Uh, quite a bit of a journey to go. That's why I said one to two months or so. Um, I'm still working on a trailer and a little story. Uh, I'm working on more animations and making little YouTube shorts. Uh, working on uh, the menu art and UI art. Uh, right now it's just kind of placeholder stuff. Uh, writing music specifically for the game. Right now I'm just using a lot of older stuff that I had in the past. Um, also working on like some indicators uh, a lot adding a lot of like extra stuff for the the game so like progress how far you've made it how far somebody else has made it um i'm thinking about maybe adding a sudden death mode um so like kind of like you get one more shot sort of idea um making awards so like so and so hits so many spikes so he gets the spiky award i don't know i'll figure something out uh, also giving a death counter um, making a seed generator system. So if you found uh, a random generated map that you like a lot, then you could send it to your friends. And then there's also always bugs. Always bugs. Um, so, and I'm fixing most of them, <laughs> I believe. Some of them are, are persistent, but it's going well. Other things. So I now have officially a LinkedIn page. I um, am on there... Um, Sometimes it's it's hard to remember to do social medias every once in a while. Um, I, I I tend to focus on the, the products and stuff like that, and then I totally whiff on keeping track of social media. That's one reason why I con congested into less things. So, uh, but LinkedIn is important for um, professionals to to be social media stuff. So um, I'm on LinkedIn now. I'm still on Itch, Twitter, and YouTube. And I uh, also have the main website, which is still 
developing as uh, as I finish off other things, but uh, that will end up getting a brand new facelift very shortly. Um, as for YouTube, I do want to upload more videos and also start doing like development streams um, so you guys can kind of hop in and take a look how things are going. Um, I do also plan on eventually forming an LLC for my company. Right now, it's just an independent uh, self-run branch. Um, at this point, it's not quite worth it, uh, but I do have plans for an actual, like, official business uh, model for uh, the Ambient Beard. Um, so as for prices and release window, obviously, one to two months, I know I say that almost every time <laughs> but that's um professional you know I, if anything i've learned from the AAA industry it's uh push it back <laughs> keep pushing it back and um keep telling people it's it, we're almost there it's almost there it's just hold that carrot out but um the plan is for five dollars and it will release on apple and android and steam steam will be the only version that will have split screen five dollars is tough I would love to do five dollars. I want to do five dollars. I probably will do five dollars. It's just rough because I am paying for server space as well, and the upfront cost and the the constant cost of that can be expensive. So, trying to balance out the game um, selling versus the game holding it up is difficult to figure out the proper balance um i think five dollars is still a good price and then maybe do ten dollars for like a future game or something like that i do hope that i can maybe do a patreon at some point to help bolster the finances and help um those things along or obviously that's one reason why i got the full-time job is so so i could actually pay for things um at least in the meantime until uh hopefully this stuff it works out but um unfortunately that's also because i have a lot now a lack of time to do things but um yeah so i think that's pretty much it uh giving you an update on what's been going on uh what i'm going to start doing and uh, what the plans are so uh, i hope to see you all at the uh milwaukee the midwest gaming classic in milwaukee this weekend um if not i hope to see you on the stream so have a good one